Hello and welcome. Today we're just talking all about amiibo cards and amiibo figures as well, but mostly amiibo cards because, you know, there's far more Animal Crossing amiibo cards than there are amiibo figures. We are going to talk about how to use them. We're going to talk about maybe some hidden uses for them that you didn't know beforehand. And I also want to touch on um, a website that helps you keep track of which amiibos you have or which ones you're hunting for and all that fun stuff. So let's hop right into everything. Let's get the most well-known one out of the way first, and that is using an amiibo card to invite someone to your campsite. Let it be known that if there is someone already in your campsite, you can use an amiibo card to kick that person out and invite someone else. You cannot invite special characters this way, like Tom Nook or Celeste or anyone like that. It has to just be regular villagers, but we will show off some uses for those special cards later, so go ahead and invite your Amiibo camper. Make sure you're using a controller that has Amiibo compatibility, the official Joy-Cons that come with your Switch do. If you're using a Switch Lite, of course, it's just built right into it, and it'll actually show you where to tap. So if you're using Joy-Cons, it's going to be on the right Joy-Con. I'm going to tap in a card here, and if you're using a Pro Controller, it will be in the middle of the Pro Controller, but it'll show you that too. So we're going to invite Judy. The villager that you invite then shows up and says that it would be a pleasure to come visit your campsite and let's see if we can get all of her chatting out of the way. Everything fades out and then you can just run right back to your campsite and the villager will be there. There are several uses for inviting someone to your campsite. The first use is obvious if you want them to move on to your island you just invite them three different days in a row and make them the DIY that they ask for and then they will offer to move in. And the great thing about moving in amiibo card villagers is that they will ask you who you want to kick off the island. So they can also just be a great way to get a super uggo off your island. Even if you don't have a card of your dreamy, you just have a card of someone that you don't hate, you can use them to get rid of a villager that you really don't like. Another use for inviting a villager to your campsite is just seeing a new face. Seeing this villager in person. Is this a cutie that you want to see on your island every day? Maybe you're not sure and you want to see them on your island to get a taste of it. Also, if we talk to her here, she's very happy to see us. If we talk to her again, she'll tell us about a DIY that she wouldn't mind having. You might have to talk to them several times. Let's see. Oh, yep, here she is asking for a souvenir. Okay, she wants an aroma pot, and you can say that you'll make it for her. And if you don't already have the DIY for the aroma pot, she will actually give it to you. So if you are just starting out and you're really looking for DIYs, you can invite all your amiibo card villagers and just get DIYs from them. The DIYs that they ask for are indeed personality based. So if you are looking for some specific DIYs, make sure you invite the personality that is, you know, linked with that DIY that you're looking for. But other than that, that is mostly all that you can do with inviting people to the campsite. Just see new people, move them into your island, or kick out people very specifically. Because a regular campsite villager that comes on their own will just pick someone at random to kick out, and that can be really frustrating if you only have one uggo to get rid of. As a side note, I also just think it looks nice to have a tent up, <laughs> you know, in your campsite build. It just makes it look more complete. Just as a side note, for our next amiibo use case, we are going to run all the way to the roost and I'll meet you there. Here we are at the roost. If you have ever tried to sit in these chairs, you'll know that Brewster is like, nah, man, you're not allowed. And then it immediately kicks you out, which is pretty rude because these chairs look pretty comfy. But if you invite guests via amiibo card, you're able to sit in those chairs. So let's get someone invited. And there's a couple different ways not to like go about this, but there's a couple different perks depending on who you invite. So let's run over to the amiibo phone, which lets us invite someone. And I am going to go ahead and invite a special character along who I know will bring guests with her. So Celeste will always bring Blathers with her. So even if you don't have Blathers amiibo card, you can see him in the roost because she'll bring along a special guest. Same thing goes for the Able sisters or Tom Nook will always bring Timmy and Tommy. I think it's such a cute little touch that they'll bring along a guest. I can't chat with them because there's no one right across from me. Uh, if Tom Nook brought Timmy and Tommy, I could sit in the spare chair and then talk to whoever's across from me by pressing A. So I can come around here and I can get some new dialogue that I haven't seen before, which is really nice. That's one way to use this amiibo phone. The other way besides special characters, is just to invite over random villagers that you just want to see so you can shake things up a little bit. If you invite someone new, your other guest will leave. You can also invite villagers who used to live on your island. So here I have a card for Cube, who used to live on my island. 
I'm gonna scan him in. And he should actually remember having lived on my island. Let's test it out real quick. As you can see, Blathers and Celeste are gone and Cube is here now. And let's see, I should be able to get some dialogue. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should be able to get some dialogue that refers to him remembering living here. All right, here we go. Chatting with you brings back so many memories from when I lived here, like, um, brain freeze. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Hey, remember that time I lived here? Yeah, that was pretty cool. What a sweetie. So he absolutely remembers living here. If you have just one guest or you have a guest with like an open seat across from them, you can sit down and talk to them actually at the table, which is great. And there is one more use for this. Uh, I don't really need to show it off. We can just talk about it. You can invite villagers who already live on your island. So I've invited Roscoe a couple of times and he'll talk about how like he lives here but doesn't pop in very often and stuff like that. So that's a few different uses for amiibo cards in the actual roost. I know there isn't a ton of use case for amiibos in the roost, but it is nice that you can invite back old villagers who used to live on your island and they'll remember you. And it is nice to have another use for special characters since of course they can't come to your campsite. We are going to move on to Harv's Island and I'll talk about another use there. Meet you there. Seriously, what did Harv get so rich doing that he can afford his own island? I want my own island. Here we are on Harv's Island. We're in Photopio, Photopia, um, which is Harv's house, basically. If you go ahead and hit this down button to kind of edit the room, oh, you'll see that it'll tell you where you can hit those NFC, which is just a fancy name for the little chip that's inside the amiibo card. It'll show you where you can kind of press those. And you don't have to hit any special buttons. It'll just recognize it the moment that you put it there like that. And you can invite any villager that you want. You can also invite special characters. And I have two cards in front of me right now of Tom Nook. One of them, he is in his New Horizons get up. His classic, there we go. This classic beach shirt and everything. And you're like, man, I'm not digging him in that. I also have a fall outfit version of him and it will bring him in his fall outfit. Do make note that the fall outfit that he is wearing on the card is not the same as the one that he is wearing, you know, here in the game, but it is his fall outfit in this game. Nevertheless, nonetheless, nevertheless, nonetheless, I thought that was a fun little touch that you could bring, you know, them in specific outfits, which is nice. If it's not available in this game, I don't think that you can see the outfit. I haven't gotten Isabel in her dress to try that yet, though, so <laughs> still waiting on that. If I ever find her, I will pin that below, but I believe that she will just come in her normal outfit if it's an outfit that's not programmed into this game. Something else that's really fun about Photopia is that we can take a special villager. Oops, I accidentally got rid of her instead of clicking the proper button. We can take a special villager, especially one who always wears you know, eyeglasses or something like that. While we're hovering over them, we push X and then we can change their outfit. Now, this bow that Celeste always wears is not a bow that you can get in game. But if you want to see her without it, you can pop any. Oh, she looks so weird without it. Oh, my. She looks naked without it. You can see any other thing on her that you would like to. Oh, that's hilarious. It, it's just really cute. Um, Characters that wear glasses. This is a great way to see what their eyes actually look like. I'm looking at you, Eugene. I'm looking at you, bud. On these regular villagers, we are able to change everything that they're wearing because they have been programmed to have sprites wearing these clothes, of course, because you can give them anything to wear on your island, which I think is, you know, really cute. Oh, yeah, that's that's doing it. And you can, you know, hats, dresses, all the whole nine, anything that you can give them to wear on your island, you can give them here. So very cute, I think. Before we move on to the next thing that's kind of connected to Harv's Island, let's go ahead and scan in one of our Sanrio characters. As you know, these characters are locked behind amiibos. You cannot find them out when you're villager hunting, which is very unfortunate. But if someone else has them that you know, you can always borrow them. And even if you don't have time to move them onto your island, at least scan them into Photopia. I believe I'm saying this is Photopia, right? Anyway, at least scan them into Photopia because I've scanned Chai in and now I can go into my Nook shopping. I go into special goods and I have, well, I've scanned all my Sanrio cards in, of course, but after you scan 
try and you can buy all of her set of stuff and you know endlessly you can keep ordering it whenever you like so if you have a friend who has a sanrio cards at least scan them all into photopia even if you don't have time to move them onto your island and then you have access to all of these items something else that you have access to are posters oh my goodness i have scanned in so many amiibo cards anytime you scan in an amiibo into photopia i believe you have the ability to buy their poster now, this is not the same as getting their picture, but for some of these characters, you're not able to get their actual framed photo, like Celeste. The Sanrio villagers come with the ability to buy their poster, as well as some of these special posters like this one, which I think these are just some of the cutest things. Honestly, I just love them. Seeing the special characters' posters can be really special, especially since you cannot get their framed photos. Tom Nook and Isabel, you can get their framed photos, as well as Timmy and Tommy together. Um, because you can get those on the app. Tom Nook's photo, even though the very first time I scanned him in, I scanned him in with his fall outfit, is still going to be his default outfit because it's just recognized, oh, Tom Nook has come in. Here's the poster that we have for Tom Nook. So keep that in mind. But yeah, you can get all kinds of cute pictures this way. As a side note, it is nice to have their amiibo cards just to invite them for fun photos in general at Photopia. I've seen people make some really great rooms and add some, you know, fun characters into them and just take some really cute photos. Even I made like a postcard for my island with all my villagers in it. Another little side note about Photopia is that you don't have to have the amiibo cards of the villagers who live on your island. You can pull them into Photopia anytime with the little peoples tab. So you don't have to have their amiibo cards, just as a side note. Another use for these cards is inviting them to Happy Home Paradise. You'll notice this little green box right here actually has the amiibo symbol on it. And this is where you go if you want to scan someone in. So I can just click on here. What's really nice about this is that I can make homes for whoever I want, regardless of if they're on the beach or not, including specialty villagers or specialty characters. So let's go ahead and scan Tom Nook. I've already scanned him and I've already made a vacation home for them, for him. Uh, let's see. Yep, and it'll tell you he already has a vacation home. So speak to him directly if I wanna alter his home. Do I wanna connect with a different client? I can hit yes. And then let's go ahead and do someone I haven't done. And it'll say this is the amiibo for Celeste. She'll pop up and then you'll be able to chat with her just like regular and she will come up here and she'll ask you to make her a vacation home. One thing that I do want to point out is whenever you invite someone via Amiibo, you completely come up with the idea. There is no option to use, you know, their idea or the three pieces of furniture that they pick out or anything like that. So you 100% are in control. So those are all the uses that I know of for Amiibo cards in Animal Crossing, but I also just like to decorate with mine. I'll stick them in an empty frame you know, with a nice piece of paper in the background and put as many as I can in there for a little collage of my favorite villagers or things like that. And some side notes also about Amiibo cards. There is a website. I will link it in the description below. It's just like Nintendo's Amiibo website. And you can actually save like wish lists. You can look at which villagers are in which series. That way, if you're looking for a specific card, you're not buying the wrong series and having zero chance of getting the villager you're looking for. You can also use that website to keep track of which cards you already have. And as another side note, some of the older villagers have amiibo cards, but they don't have amiibo cards in the series one through five, which is the only amiibo cards I can find sold in stores right now. So let's take Cleo, for instance. If you want to find an official amiibo card of Cleo, you are going to have to go back and get one of the older packs of amiibo cards that actually have the villagers in their little campers and such. So just keep that in mind because you might be on a wild goose chase. So it's really nice to use this website to check for that. So that is everything that I know about amiibo cards for the most part. The amiibo figures will work the exact same if you want to invite Isabel or KK Slider to the Roost or to Happy Home Paradise. I believe there are only figures for special characters, so you can't invite them to the campsite or anything, but they work exactly the same and they are, you know, something cute to put on your shelf. That is all for this video. I had a super fun time making it. It was very casual and chatty, so thank you for sticking through it with me. Uh, like, subscribe if you feel like it, if not, totally okay, and have a super great day. Bye.